What's up guys, in today's episode, I am going over the Pepper's Dirty Tree just because everyone needs to have one. Stay tuned. What is up you guys, it's your boy Luis Torres, and yes, I'm making another video with the Pepper's Dirty Tree. Uh, I think it's absolutely amazing that literally tons and tons of guys now have this pedal on their pedal board. Uh, so if you own it, then you absolutely know how great it is already. Um, if you don't have it, but you're seeing that everyone's been making videos with them, uh, with theirs, uh, they are now talking about it a little more than ever before. I just think that it's just because the quality is there, the build is there, the the quality of the electronics that Tony uses, um, and it's so worth it. I mean, I remember getting my first one and just being like, wow, this guy's in New Zealand. Like, dude, are you serious right now? And um and I absolutely love Tony. He's super great. And, you know, I can't help but constantly tell people, as far as boosts go, this is my all-time favorite. So much so that I own four of them and should be getting my fifth one soon. So I literally have a forest of Pepper's Dirty Trees. Uh, so I'm going to be running this. You know, it's one of those things where if you have like a fort and sigil, you don't need a boost. But if you have something like a Mesa rectifier, which is super flubby and just tons of low end, and then you match, of course, ah, the Mesa rectifier with a super low output Mesa 412 cabinet with Celestian V30s. Like, dude, it's just flubbery on top of flubbery. Um, but... That kind of makes the magic, and that is where this pedal completely shines, is even to the point where if you decide to use something like this, like my 5150 right there, you know, I add on a little extra bass, I cut back on the presence, I add a little, I cut back on the, um, on the treble a little bit, so you almost have to think, thicken the tone, right? And then this guy comes in, and just punches you right in the throat. Boom, boom. Dude, it's just absolutely insane. Um, so let me stop punching the mic and plug this guy in so you guys get to hear exactly what it sounds like. So I will be using my 2015 ESP M2. This is the Urban Camo neck through body uh, with EMG 8185s. And... So I'm going to start off with the Mesa rectifier by itself um, with the pedal turned off. That's all I'm running is the dirty tree right here. And, um, you know, again, same thing. You almost need to thicken that tone um, just so the Pepper's dirty tree can really work its magic in changing that frequency. Uh, so regardless of the amp, if it's a Laboga, Mr. Hector, if it's a PV, an armor and amplification, EVH Stealth, um, Marshall, JCM 800, 2000, you know, regardless of what you're using, when you're working with a pedal that drastically changes the frequency and tightens it, you definitely need to thicken it. And, you know, so don't get a Pepper's Dirty Tree and keep your settings the way they are and be like, Lewis, I hate you. This sounds way too crazy right now uh, because that's kind of what you need to do. You just need to thicken your tone uh, and that's when things kill. So, all right, again, I'm just using the one mic right here. And so you will hear a little picking, you know me, shut it about the picking. Lewis, I hear the picking. I know you do. I hear it too. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? When you're in your 50s, you tell me how, how much you care about 
shit in, out there in the world. <laughs> you definitely learn to care less, so. All right, so re rectify by itself. It's on standby, standby. <laughs> magic on one two There you have it, Louis T, Dadcore, it is what it is. And you know what? If you're looking to get away from that low-end flub craziness because your amp just naturally is like that, like any Mesa rectifier owner already knows, um, then it's going to be something like the Pepper's Dirty Tree that is going to add that higher end treble tone uh without stomping out the low end uh way too much so it's it's kind of like the perfect blend of i think just a normal brutal tone overall um because you never want it to be too high end too high pitch and you never want it to be so low that you can't hear what you're playing so you want that middle ground so again add some bass add some mid cut back on the presence uh maybe add some resonance cut back on the treble throw this guy in there bada bing bada boom and then you guys are all set and yes i just said bada bing bada boom so <laughs> so guys hey i hope you guys had a great weekend happy sunday and uh i'll put a link below to cropsy's website so you guys can check that out huge shout out to my man paul out in staten island the guitarist of cropsy so guys thank you so much for watching hopefully that will help guide you towards the pepper's dirty tree it's super inexpensive and so worth it i mean it's got like i said i ha i have four and my fifth one should be coming in not that i need five but if one is good and two is great and three is better four is insane and five is a forest guys thank you so much for watching as usual i will talk to you guys soon